So we're in our uh, we're in our second day here of our voluntary mini camp. Uh, had a good day yesterday. I'd say a good two weeks uh, leading up to this. Uh, have a long way to go. Uh, Pleased with the the guys that are here, the attendants. These guys are working really hard. Um, coaches have done a good job. Uh, just another step in the process as we get going here, but a long way to go. So whatever you guys got, fire away. Coaches, coaches, could there is. Is Kadarius Tony here today? Uh, no, KT's not here today. I'm not going to get it. There, there's, we've had, we have good attendance. Uh, I've had talks with, with some of the guys that, that haven't been here, uh, but most everybody's been here, whether they were here the first week, the second week. Um, we've had good attendance. Brian, given, given some of his issues off the field as a rookie, is that a concern to you? Yeah, I, like I said, this is a voluntary camp. So the guys that are here, yeah. we're going to work with. The guys that aren't, they're, they're going to miss out on some things, but it's, it's voluntary for a reason. That's the, that's the nature of the rules. Uh, I've talked. I've had good talks with KT. I've had good talks with some of the other guys. Uh, I'm encouraged where we are in terms of our participation, what we've been doing, and uh, we're just going to keep moving in the right direction. Can he participate like virtually, or is he, does he just not have the playbook until he gets here? Yeah. Um, no, we, we, we didn't do anything virtual. So when he gets here, he'll get the playbook, and we'll, we'll catch him up to speed. Brian, do you have an overall message for your group? Yeah, work hard and improve each day. Um, that's really what it's been since we've been here. There's, you know, we were out here for an hour and a half at most. Uh, we've done a few seven on seven drills. Most of the stuff you'll see today is, is either individual or group. We've tried to tempo it the, the right way, whether it's full speed one period, kind of a jog through the next period. It's, it's kind of interlaced throughout practice, uh, but just keep improving each day. Brian, what are the key elements between you and Joe in terms of putting your kind of stamp with this group here, it's obviously a whole new regime. Yeah, no, it's been it's been a continual process day by day, Mark. Um, you know, the guys have worked really hard. The guys that have that are here, they've been really good to work with. The players, the staff, bringing people together, starting to develop some chemistry. Whether it's on the coaching staff, the scouting staff, all together as the players, uh, we're so far away from from playing a game. That's we're just taking it day by day. Coach, have you started like experimenting with different guys, maybe having them play different positions that they haven't done in the past, specifically like on the offensive line, defensive line, where there's you know such a demand for flexibility? Yeah, well, this is our second day. I understand the question. We will. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to figure out where to go in a drill and making sure we're moving from drill to drill, kind of practice the way we want to practice when it is live, if you will, full speed periods. We'll get into that. We certainly will. Position flexibility has always been important defensively, offensively in the kicking game. You only get so many people to go to a game with. Um, so that we'll get to that. Right now we're just we're learning where to go in stretch lines. Have you seen though on film, I know you did an extensive review of the guys coming yeah. back. Have you seen things that made you say, oh, maybe we'll try this guy here or this guy there? Yeah, we'll, we're, we're going to try a lot of guys at a lot of different spots. You know, There's not really a, a depth chart per se. There's more of a rep chart and move people around. You have to have position flexibility unless you're really, really good at one thing. So we'll, we'll end up getting to that, I'd say, you know, once OTA start. Brian, does, does that mean and is Andrew Thomas locked in at left tackle, or is there a scenario in the draft where you could add a player that Andrew moves to right tackle? Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I, don't, I can't answer that right now. Andrew's been a good left tackle for us. I got a lot of confidence in Andrew. He's rehabbing to get back. You know, we're going to take the best guys we can in the draft, and. You know, wherever they are, they are. Brian, what do these last few days look like leading up to the draft? How many conversations are you and Joe having? And are you still doing a lot of evaluating? Yeah, we've done a lot of work. I'd say the scouting department has been in there nonstop. We've met, uh, we've met with the scouting department, with Joe, the coaching staff. Kind of did that last week. We're, we're doing it again. We did some yesterday. We'll do some today. Uh, I think it'll be, you know, all the way through the weekend and the early part of the week. and. And hopefully we're kind of where we want to be at, at the early part of the week. Brian, for the most part, is the scouting done and you're just getting to know the players now more? Yeah, we've done we've done a ton of evaluation. I think you're always going back and you're you're crossing your T's, dotting your I's, and you're looking at, you know, maybe another game. You've you've tried to watch as much tape as you can. There's I'd say conversations that go on daily, whether it's about the player, about the person, make a phone call to the whatever it may be. Um, I don't see that really changing until probably midweek, early next week. Brian, as a, um, as a position coach, you have some input in the draft. You know, you've done that. As a coordinator, you have. Now, mm -hmm. as a head coach, you have more. Um, 
What has that been like for you as the head coach being involved in this? And do you think after this draft it will be more of your imprint on this draft class than you've ever had in the past? No, I think it's important. It's our our imprint. Uh, everybody works hard. Nobody has all the answers. Uh, certainly there are things that you may see that I don't. That's why you go back. You talk about the player. You revisit them if there's a little bit of a discrepancy, whether it's from coach to coach, coach to scout, head coach, whatever it may be. Um, and we'll, we'll do this thing together. But you, you, your sense is your voice will carry more weight now than it ever has, right? Yeah, I don't even think of it that way. That's part of the whole. Brian, I know it's early, but what is, um, I, I don't know if you've made a decision on this, but what is your thought process right now on whether you'll call plays and how might you work through trying to figure that out this spring? And yeah, no, that's a popular question and I understand yeah. it. We're not, we're not there yet. Uh, I'd say today during, during practice when you see it out there, uh, calf will be, We'll be giving it to the quarterback and going off the script that way, and, and I'll kind of be out and about with the players. Um, but again, I'll, 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 I'll let you guys know when we get to that. What has, Brian, what has yeah. stood out to you about Joe since you two have locked arms together? Um, you know, I've known Joe for quite some time. He's a, he's a great teammate. He's a great listener. I think he's, you know, the one thing you see with him in this position is he's a really good leader. Uh, he, he treats people the right way. He, he lets people do their job. He takes input, but at the end of the day, he's, he's charged with making a decision. He takes all the information, um, and he's a, he's a really good leader. Ryan, when, uh, when you guys bring in a prospect for a visit, what, what are you trying to learn about them? I think it depends on, on who the people are that you bring in. Uh, we have a process that we go through. They meet a lot of people in the organization. Uh, people that we think are important to helping in their development if we select them or they come on the team. Uh, they meet with the coaches. You're going to try to gather some of their, how they learn, the process, how you can teach them. You know, maybe if they come here, I should have done this. Uh, we test them, you know, football-wise. Uh, so I think, you know, as many people can get around the person to give their input of what they think of them as a person first, and then obviously we, we've looked at them and evaluated them as a player. Brian, what are your impressions of, um, of Saquon? Uh, looking at him closely. Yeah, he's 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 been here. He's been great in the meeting. Um, he's elusive. He's quick. He's fast. Uh, again, we've had you know, 12 plays of seven on seven here in a couple individual periods, uh, but excited to work with him. Brian, I think you said to us, I guess the last time we talked to you about making an emphasis to be in every meeting room, knowing yeah. that it's not just offense. When it translates to the practice field, I know it's only been one day on the field. Will you take the same approach? Will you, I don't know if force is the right word, but will you consciously go to different groups rather yeah. than being with the quarterback? Yeah, yeah, I've, I walked around yesterday. I got my miles in during practice. Um, God knows I need them, but um, yeah, I think it's important to watch how the, the coaches are teaching the material and how they're going through individual drills. It's important to see the players. You know, you can evaluate, I've talked about this before, you can watch as much tape as you want to watch from, from previous you know, years until you get them in your system and see, you know, ask them to do the things that you, you might think they're going to do. You're going to have to tinker with that. I think you need to keep your eyes on as many people as you can. Right. From a value standpoint, uh, left tackle's always been seen as that premium position, but with the way teams are passing now, how much is the right tackle position kind of caught up in, in value? Look, I think they're all important. You know, five guys working in unison keeping the depth and the width of the pocket in the passing game and getting movement in the line of scrimmage. Um, you know, the game's evolved so much. Uh, RPOs, up-tempo, no, I mean, they got to be able to, the right tackle, the left tackle, we just want to be good tackles. Hey, right. um, I have a safe one question for sure. you, which won't be my last. Okay. Um, is there a chance you and your staff see him more as the playmaker he was coming out of college as opposed to quote-unquote, just a running back? Yeah, he's, you know, we've evaluated him uh, all the way back to year one and, and all the way through. Again, it's hard, Kim, right now. We're, we're going to ask him to do some things out here and get a feel for him. I think he's a, a very talented player, and he's, he's a really good person. He's a good young man who's, you can tell it's important to him, and he's working real hard. So as much as he can handle, uh, that's what we'll give him. Brian, in these days of the voluntary workouts, what are the keys to establishing a new culture and making sure that everyone is buying in? Yeah, I think that's part of leadership. You know, building something that you know the guys can be proud of and take ownership, and then finding ways to unite them uh, as their head coach, as a position coach. Uh, 
uh, finding different ways to inspire them. Uh, again, we're we're not we're a long way away. So right now, all I ask them to do is focus on today. What can we do to get better from yesterday? Um, not make more out of it than it is. We have a long way to go, and you know, keep building that that chemistry together. You know, go out together to dinner, go see a, a basketball game, go to a hockey game. Um, I think that's important. You know, off-field relationships. You don't have to be best of friends, but I think it helps, you know, because you have each other's back when you do. You know, when, when things are tough, which, you know, they'll get tough. They always do in this league. You can lean on the guy next to you uh, when you're going through a tough time, and you know that guy's got your back. That's important. Are you still Take FaceTiming all your players? More. Are you Am still FaceTiming? FaceTiming them? Yeah, I FaceTime. I FaceTime quite a bit. It's about the only thing I know how to do. Brian, yeah. Brian what is it like to be the head coach of the Giants? It's been great. You know, dream come true. A lot of work. Um, work with a lot of good people. Uh, I'd say let those people do their jobs. Try to lead them the best way that I can. Uh, again, we're each day is a new day, so there's always something to do. Um, but but I'm really enjoying it, um, and I got a long way to go too. Brian, throughout the spring here, not just this week, do uh, you guys plan to give Tyrod Taylor any reps with the? First team offense, first team line. How about the offense? We haven't. I mean, we haven't even talked about that. Daniel's going out here. He's working with. You know, there's not even really groups right now. There's. There's reps. That's what we're doing. So, until we got to get ready to to make those decisions, I think everybody has to know what they're supposed to do when they're called upon to do it. Whenever we throw a, a player in, uh, know their role, know their assignment, and go out there to execute it the best they can. Take one more, Brian. After these. Um, the first two weeks and then the, this week, this mini camp. What do yeah. you hope one or two things the players get out of it after these? You know. Yeah. Two weeks well, I think that's, that's you teach them for two weeks in the classroom. Now, how can they apply it to the field? Again, we're throwing a lot at them. Some of the stuff is going to stick on the wall. A lot of it's going to fall off. Uh, I just want to see some good juice out here at practice. Move around from drill to drill. When we're going full speed, let's go full speed. When we're in teaching periods, let's go ahead and dig in and and take the stuff that you learn on the film and in the classroom and apply it to the field. And you know, we're going to make our share of mistakes, everybody is, but just learn from them and, and come out the next day and, and be ready to go. It's, it's, you know, it's a good opportunity to come out here um, in this third week and be able to do something like this. You know, obviously, we're a new staff. So just to see the players and how they move, their quickness, their hands, their ability to bend, uh, those are some of the things you're looking at. It's not really like, oh, they messed this play. You're going to teach that. But again, 12 plays a seven on seven. You know, we're not going to, we're not using the, the, the full amount of time as it is. You know, we have, you know, I'd say a good amount of players here, almost everybody. But we're going to make sure that we're just continually, it's kind of like the next phase from phase one in between phase one and phase two uh, to make sure we're taking care of our players. Okay. Everybody good? Does anybody have anything else? Pat? You all came out here for one day. If you got anything else, go ahead and ask it. Brian, Pat, you okay there, bud? Dave, whatever you want. Okay. Brian, go you ahead. Morning go ahead. practice guy, afternoon practice guy. How do you set up your days? Yeah, what is it? 10:45 today. Exactly. So it'll be 10:45 tomorrow, um, and then when we get to the next, you know, rookie mini camp or whatever it may be, we'll sit down. We'll talk about it. So for the season, it's open. Right now, I've been a morning, afternoon, night guy right now since I've taken this job, so uh, it doesn't really matter. Exactly. You just tell me your golf schedule. We'll work around that. Okay? Brian, Brian, what have you learned about Wake? You, you, you hadn't worked with him before. Wake? Yeah. Uh, wears the same wardrobe every day. <laughs> yeah. Is that good or I don't know. You'd have to ask him. I'm not, I'm not one to give fashion advice, but um, hey, Brian. Good, good man. I'd say a good teacher in the classroom. I think the players respect him, um, has a good way about himself. Do you, do you consider James Bradbury a part of this team still? And have you talked to him at all? Yeah, he's on the roster. So, I mean, it's really not changed, Pat, from what Joe's talked about. I know Joe's coming out here at one. You guys can, you guys can talk to him about that.